In this video, we're going to do two examples of um, tree diagrams that help us understand probability. Um, so this first one, they say bag A has two red marbles and four blue marbles. Bag B has one red and three blue. And then a six-sided die um, the, um, is rolled to see which bag is chosen. If a one or two is rolled, the marble is chosen from bag A. If a three or higher is rolled, a marble is chosen from bag B. Okay, so the first thing that has to happen is we have to figure out, are we, are we getting bag A or are we getting bag B? Well, notice um, if it's a one or two, there's six ways that we can roll um, a dice, we, and two of them are, so two out of the six would get us to bag A, um, and then therefore four out of the six would get us to bag B. In bag A, we have two different things. We have red marbles and we have blue marbles. Um, and so it's two out of the, there's a total of six in bag A, so it's two out of the six give us um, a red marble, four out of the six give us a blue. In bag B, we have red and blue also, and it's one red out of a total of four, so it's the probability of getting a red there is one-fourth, the probability of getting a blue is three-fourths. Um, and so what happens here, the probability that we get Bag a uh, red out of bag A would be four out of thirty-six, which reduces to what one ninth. Um, and then here we'd have eight out of thirty-six, which would reduce to two ninths. Here we end up with four out of twenty-four, which reduces to one sixth. And here we get twelve out of twenty-four, which reduces to one half. Um, so the, when, then we can look at these different questions. What is the probability that a red marble is chosen? Well, we can either get a red marble here, or we can get a red marble from this one. So it's going to be 1 ninth plus 1 sixth, um, which, what is that? That's 2 eighteenths plus 3 eighteenths, so that's 5 eighteenths. What is the probability that a blue marble is chosen? So a blue can come from this way here or get a blue out of the other one. So we have two ninths plus one half, which is um, four eighteenths plus nine eighteenths. Four plus nine is 13 eighteenths. And notice these two, um, we used, we ended up using all four of these elements here. And when we add those together, we do get one. So either a red marble is chosen or a blue marble is chosen. So we, we did this by adding um, the two blues, but what we could have done is we could have just said, well, the probability that a blue marble is chosen is 1 minus the probability of a red. And 1 minus this gives us 13 eighteenths. And the last part of that one says, what is the probability that bag A was selected if a red marble was chosen? OK, so now what we have here is we know that we've got a red marble. So the probability that we got a red marble was this um, 5 out of 18. Um, and so then what's the probability that, that bag A was the one? Well. Bag A had a one ninth, a red marble out of bag A had a one ninth probability. And um, the, so that becomes one ninth divided by the probability that it was red in general, which is five eighteenths. Oops, excuse me. So this is one ninth times 18 over five. That can go in there two times. And we end up getting the probability that it was bag A is two-fifths, assuming that we already got one that was red. Um, and we write this, we say the probability of bag A given red. And that's how that notation, so that's, that's how that notation works out. The next one, bag A contains, a bag contains four yellow and five green. Two marbles are drawn simultaneously. Okay, so if we draw two marbles, we, um, it's, helpful to think of this, okay, you've got a yellow and then a green, and then your second pool would either be a yellow or a green, or a yellow or a green, okay? So if we get the, if the probability of getting the first one to be yellow would be four out of nine, and the probability of getting green would be five out of nine. But in this, once we've gone down this branch though, we've already taken out one of the yellows. So now we have three yellows out of the eight that are remaining. And we have five greens out of the eight that are remaining. Here, we assume that we've already taken a green and that our second one, so then that means that there are four green. So there's four out of, excuse me, there's four green left, there's four yellow still in there, so it's one out of, um, well, it's four out of eight. There's four yellow out of the total eight that are left. Here, we now have four 
out of 8. Those can reduce, but whatever. Um, and so when I multiply here, I get 12 out of 72. I get 20 out of 72. I get 20 out of 72. I get 20 out of 72. And when we check this, if we added all of these up together, that's 20, 40, 60, 72 out of 72. So the probability of something happening is that either getting two yellow, first a yellow, then a green, a green, then a yellow, or a green, then a green, is going to be, the probability is one. They all added up to one. Okay, so what is the probability that two yellow marbles are chosen? Well, we have to go yellow, yellow, and that's 12 out of 72, which, sure, I can reduce... Um, what is that? Uh, six goes in there. Two. I don't. I don't feel like thinking. Okay. What is the problem that exactly one green is chosen? Well, exactly one green. Either you got the yellow first, then a green, or you got the green first, then a yellow, and that was also this. So that becomes forty out of seventy-two, which we could reduce. Um, what is the probability that at least one yellow marble is chosen? That means that we could either have two yellow, we could have a yellow first and a green, or we could have a green first and a yellow. Um, so we could say it's 1272 plus 20 over 72 plus another 20 over 72. 40, that's 52 over 72. Or we could say the probability that at least one yellow is 1 minus the probability of two green which would be 1 minus the probability of two green is 20 over 72. 72 minus 20 is 52 over 72. There you go.